dysplasia, as far as we know, is a genetic disorder. So there's something that happens abnormally in the genes that cause them to express abnormal development of the hip joint, which leads to onset of arthritis. So genetic diseases, at least in this point in time, when it comes to hip dysplasia, have no cure in veterinary medicine. However, if a dog, a very young dog, has hip dysplasia, there are certain surgical procedures that you can pursue that will, in effect, provide a cure. It will fix the problem. Um, if you have an older dog with hip dysplasia and it's a dog that is um, 40 pounds or less, you can actually have a surgery done to remove the hip joint uh, that removes the source of pain and um, difficulty. That is called a femoral head ostectomy, F-H-O. That can cure the dog of pain and suffering associated with arthritis in the hip joint. If it's a dog that's bigger than 40 pounds, um, you can have a total hip replacement. So you can fix the signs and symptoms but you can't necessarily cure a dog of hip dysplasia. Even if you had a dog uh, with hip dysplasia, if you had them surgically repaired, they still carry the genetic propensity for hip dysplasia. And if those dogs breed, then their puppies are at increased risk for hip dysplasia. So the best way to cure hip dysplasia is to breed it out of the population utilize reputable breeders that have their breeding stock tested uh, by the Orthopedic Foundation of America to have excellent or good hips and choose the animals from those breeders. That is your greatest way to ensure that you will not have to deal with hip dysplasia in your pet.